So it's time to move on to the H3 block. And once again, this one is a modified block in the book. They've made these a little bigger and all that kind of thing so that it's easier to assemble with the English paper piecing method. I have sorted my pieces and laid them out as the, as the um, block assembles. And this fabric, as you see the arrows again, my um, when I laid out the pieces from the bag, um, I made arrows on the ones that had the color focus fabric. And in this case, my focus fabric is directional, so that any any um, each direction looks different. So I wanted to make sure that they all ended up the same way. In this in this way that when it's done I can put all that together. So from the assembly standpoint I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to assemble this section and then I'm going to take these edges so this is going to be a row I'm going to treat this as a row and this is a row and then connect the three. The first thing I'm going to assemble is the middle bits of triangle. I'm going to attach this piece to that piece and then this piece to this piece. So I've got my triangles pieced for the middle and I'm going to attach them to the solids and make my square. My center piece is done and all the fabric goes the same direction and then I'm going to add, I'm going to assemble the side piece with this one. and this one and those are in the same direction as well so this actually goes here and then I'll assemble this side piece and make this one big row so I got my middle section done and all my fabric is going the same way so then I'm going to work on this I basted my squares and my whatever pentagon and these little teeny tiny triangles. So I'm going to attach the teeny tiny triangles first to this piece and then the squares to make that line. Okay so while assembling one of my, well this is the upper row and I went to tape this piece to this piece you can see there's a big discrepancy so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where the discrepancy is and squish it down and then start it at the point. So I'm going to match up the corners and then I'm going to stitch it to about here. And I'm going to tie off and I'm going to start down here and then work it in. So we're going to see how that goes. Usually it works well but that's a big problem. So by doing it this way, I do have a little bit of a discrepancy on the bottom, but it's something that I can take in to the seam, so it's not so giant. Okay, so I'm trying to attach my last row to my block, and I don't know if you can see this, but this, this part is bowed up compared to this part, is because the, this is actually a little longer than that. So I've started on one end, and the idea is to get past this first intersection. And so I'm going to take a couple stitches diagonally across here to minimize that space, and then a couple stitches diagonally across here, and that essentially will pull this closed and that's where a lot of the take up will happen and I'll do the same exact thing over here so it will close up this gap and it will close up that gap so I've taken my stitches through the intersection to this point here and then I started at the other end and then the other trick is to work it in so that the other trick is to work it in so that it lines up best it can here and so that 
there's going to be some take up in here instead of here. So I finished attaching it and this is not exactly perfect but that's completely okay because a lot of times done is better than perfect and here is my done H3 block.